This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Remind everybody, Miz won the WWE title in November of 2010, and Jerry Lawler was pretty critical of Miz winning this way by using his money in the bank briefcase and cashing in once Randy Orton was injured. Uh, he would also uh, have a, a losing effort against Miz in a TLC match after fellow commentator Michael Cole stopped Lawler from climbing the ladder. And then on the January 31st episode of Raw, the GM, the anonymous GM, announced a Raw Rumble match to determine the WWE Championship contender for Elimination Chamber. And the losing participants will all be thrown into the chamber to decide who gets a title shot at WrestleMania, but the winner gets a title shot at elimination chamber. So the match has CM Punk, Randy Orton, King Sheamus, John Morrison, John Cena, our truth and Jerry Lawler in a freaking awesome moment. Lawler last eliminated Sheamus to win the battle Royal. And I'll be damned. He's got a title match here at the elimination chamber. As we talked about earlier in the week, his mom legitimately passed away. So of all the times in history, he would normally just take off, but here he's not, he's here to wrestle for the world championship. Miz gets the win 12 minutes and seven seconds. He retains the whole place is standing a legit standing ovation as Lawler comes out. And this is a fun old school match. It got three and a half stars. Um, Meltzer would say Lawler tried for a pile driver, but Miz escaped. They went for a series of cradles until Miz kicked Lawler in the head and then used the skull crushing finale for the pin. It was a very good match as the crowd was into Lawler's quest to win the title far more than anyone chasing it in recent memory. Because of that story, every move in the match meant something. Cole then celebrated like crazy saying that Lawler had just showed he was an embarrassment to the company. The crowd gave Lawler another standing ovation when it was over. Of course, the reason Michael Cole is doing this is Lawler is going to get his big WrestleMania moment. He's going to have a match with Michael Cole. That's real. Uh, but the match got three and a half stars. And I got to tell you, I love this. It, it almost reminded me of several years prior when edge wrestled flair in a ladder match for the title or a few years prior to that, where Hunter wrestled Arn or your Arn Hunter wrestled Rick for the title in the main event in Greenville, South Carolina. Even if they knew in their heart, Rick's not going to be world champ. He's, you know, damn near 60. They still believed in that moment and they believed in Jerry Lawler right here. And I think this is an example of when wrestling is not just good, but when wrestling is great, when you suspend all disbelief and you're lost in the story and you're like, he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And you know, you shouldn't be that excited, but boy, it sure is fun to have that almost childlike excitement about a match again, isn't it? You know the answer. It's what we do. Yes. It's what sells tickets. It what makes you run to the TV set when you forgot it's two minutes to eight on Monday and went, Jesus Christ, I got to cut on TV. Got to cut on the show. For whatever company it was, it's it's what keeps bringing them back. Absolutely. And you're right. And if you don't have a story and a reason for everything happening. And what you saw was what they were cheering was the decades of entertainment that Jerry Lawler had given them. And it wasn't as important that he won and became world champion as him getting his due and giving a good accounting for himself. And what, you know what, making it competitive enough that shit, like you said, he's going to do this. He's going to do the unthinkable. And I'll just go you one further. Just because the kind of champion Miz was at the time. Nobody believed Miz was the toughest guy in the locker room. He wasn't going to, you know, thump Brock Lesnar. He wasn't going to, you know, come in and shove his weight around. He's a guy that was an old fashioned chicken shit heel that got his heat through his promos and it would not have hurt him one bit for one week yep. to drop that title. 
And can you imagine all the, uh, you know, social media, if that was around at the time or whatever it was, it was available. Just the communication of people picking up the phone, calling each other. Jerry Lawler's a world champion. You could have pulled that off for a week. And guess what? If you got to the next week and those reactions were just like they were the week before, shit, do it again. Give him a challenger. Let him defend the title. Who are you going to hurt? Such a great story. It's good TV that you didn't have two weeks ago. Yeah. Listen to the fans. They will tell you the right thing to do and what they want. Well, let's talk about the promo we get from Jerry Lawler. Uh, everybody loves an old school Lawler promo, but that's not what we're going to get here with Matt Stryker. Uh, Lawler is very low key and different than almost any interview you've ever heard him in with WWE. And they talk about how this should have been a big week in his life, challenging for the title and getting a ticket to mania. And he notes that he never won the title and he'd never even wrestled at WrestleMania. But this week was different. His mother passed away. And Matt Stryker, who plays a heel on commentary, said he's pulling for Lawler here. This is a nice, you know, listen, I don't I know sometimes we don't like when they involve real life stuff. But I think if you're a sports fan, you think back to that incredible performance that Brett Favre had after his father passed away, and it becomes like another reason to root for the guy, right? Hell yes. Boy, what an analogy. Yeah. That puts it in perspective because it was real. Yeah. And, you know, there are some people that lose their mom in, you know, in all different walks of life that never get over it. Mm -hmm. Some fall apart for a day or a week or whatever the grieving process is, just so they can pull their life together. Um, and some use it as motivation. And I think the king became Jerry Lawler, the son, and made that real for every one of us out there watching it. And his whole tone and everything changed. Uh, and to be honest with you, when he said, I've never wrestled in, for the title. And what was the other thing? WrestleMania? Yeah, he'd never been at WrestleMania. Who wouldn't have been shocked? I, would you have dreamed that? No. I, I'm thinking, nah, come on. that's That can't be there because Jerry Lawler was a big star in this business for a very, very long time as a wrestler. He's God in Memphis. Yeah, still is. To this day. And uh, he's been on, you know, WWE TV as a commentator and been entertaining for holy smokes how long. And, I mean, he's just like – he's become a – you know, a part of your life if you're a WWE fan. And for to find out that that guy has never had a shot at, at Mania or for the title, first thing I'm thinking, plus, you know, his mom just died. Holy smokes. This guy deserves something. Yeah. And when you found out, you know, that he was going to get a crack at the title, that something became something huge. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.